Hello and welcome back to the series on using uh, Spacey for the purposes of performing DH. Uh, and what we're gonna be doing in this video is really just kind of going through how to install Spacey because it's a little bit more complicated than other modules and specifically how to uh, install the uh, models that we're gonna be working with. And I'm gonna explain what a model is in just a second. So like most packages with Python, you're gonna install it using the command prompt. And if you're using Windows, you're gonna use pip. If you're gonna be using Linux, you'll use something else. Mac, you'll use something else. I use Windows, so I always reference pip. Uh, go through, select the system on this website. I'm gonna provide a link in the description down below, but it is spacey.io backslash usage, backslash, Ugh, can't speak. Uh, what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be working with an English text, like you all know, called Alice in Wonderland. You're probably familiar with it. So right here, it's going to, if you switch these things, it'll tell you how to install them differently. Conda, if you're using Spider, uh, I'm using uh, Atom, so I'm just using regular pip right now. Uh, so what we have here is you can select your Python version. You can select if you're going to be using a virtual environment. It goes through and just basically gives you everything you need to type into command prompt to install it. So you'll notice here, you'll just copy and pip space install dash u uppercase and space spacey. And that's going to install the Spacey module so that you can import it, which we're going to do in just a second. The next thing that you need to do is you need to do Python. Just copy paste all this. It'll tell you what to do. It'll change based on which module or which models you want to import. And the default here is going to be SM. For English, there are three different models. And a lot of these videos, we're going to be working with just the small model. And the reason for that is because it's, uh, it's less expensive. If you scroll down on this page, though, you're going to see, and I'm not going to do this for this video because I'm not sure how this is going to affect uh, the recording of videos. Uh, you can actually run, uh, uh, you can actually install with CUDA, you can install a GPU enabled version of Spacey. And you can use it in your uh, Python script by using spacey.prefers underscore GPU. And what that is going to do is it's going to do all the rendering and the processing of the NLP on your GPU instead of your CPU. If you are doing high-end data analysis, you are always going to want to run Python on your GPU, especially for expensive modules like uh, Spacey. And the reason why is because GPUs are much more efficient and much better at processing data than your CPU is. And this is why uh, people mine Bitcoin on GPUs. Well, one of the many reasons. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to be loading in uh, these modules with this script here. I'm going to show you all this in just a second. Uh, but if you want to make it GPU enabled to make your time with uh, Spacey go faster, go for it. You're not going to see me do it in these videos, but all you're going to have to do is include the spacey.prefer underscore GPU with open and close parentheses. That way you're going to be running on the GPU. Uh, I do that with uh, my scripts when I'm not actually uh, recording videos. So anyways, that's all we're going to say for right now. We're going to go ahead and just jump on over to our actual Python script over here, and we're going to start making some uh, basic things. We're going to first and foremost import spacey, Ooh, spacey underscore, and what that's going to do is it's going to simply import all of the functions. And what we're going to do next is we're going to load in that model. Uh, so a model is a machine trained, uh, it's a machine learning enterprise in which it has trained a model to uh, recognize a specific task and do that task over and over again. With regards to NLP, it is a model that is really good at processing text. It's a neural network that has been trained. You don't have to actually know anything about neural networks to work with Spacey because the creators of Spacey have already trained all the models and done all the hard work. You can build upon their work and train your own model should you so wish. And I might have another series on that. If your texts are very uh, particular and have certain thing characteristics, you probably may want to actually train your own model. But there really is not a need to if you're doing pretty much basic stuff with normal English texts like Alice in Wonderland. So if we go back over here, we're going to see that what we're going to do to create a model, and again, this is in the documentation, is just do this right here, this spacey load. And the reason why I'm just gonna copy and paste this over is because I, for the life of me, can never remember how to import a model. I cannot remember this string of four underscores or four words with underscores in between. This en underscore core 
underscore web dot sm. So I'm going to copy and paste it there uh, and just let you all put it in the description down below so you can do the same. Maybe you guys are better than me. But what I want to explain real fast is what this model is. So this is the small model. Like I said, this is going to be less expensive to run, which means that as we go through this tutorial or this series, we can do things much more quickly. I think that's going to be better for me as the creator and you as the user so you don't have to sit and watch me uh, look at a blank screen for a long time. There are two other models that you can import. You're going to have to install these separately. There is the medium, which I believe is MD, and there is the LG, uh, which is large. I use the large for all of my applications. I'm not using it here purely for time purposes. To give you an idea about how these models differ, they differ in accuracy. I believe the small accuracy is sitting at 87%. It's on their website. You can look for yourself. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But the large has an accuracy rating of 95%. The difference between small and medium is actually quite a large jump. It goes from 87 to 94 or 93, I believe. And from medium to large, it goes from 93, 94 to 95% accuracy. So why am I using the large rather than the medium in these cases? It's because I want that extra 1% or 2%. The reason why I have to make that decision is because uh, the difference in size is huge. So I believe the small model is only about 30 megabytes. The medium model, I believe, is sitting around 120 or so. I can't remember off the top of my head. But the large one is sitting at 870 megabytes. It is nearly a gigabyte of a model trained on English language. And that's the difference between 87% accuracy and 95%. If you're trying to do things quickly and, eff uh, and eff uh, just efficiently, you don't, you don't care about accuracy as much, use the small model. That's what we're going to do here. Uh, in some instances, we're going to use the large, but by all means, use the small. It's still very good. If, however, accuracy is the name of the game, go ahead and on this website, uh, you're going to have to do this exact same thing here, this python-m spacey download e, uh, en core web sm, and just type in lg instead, and you'll be able to import that just fine. So that's all for this video right now. This is going to be essential though. This is how you import Spacey and this is how you install Spacey. And most importantly, this is how you install and load the actual model. In the next video, we're gonna start actually working with this model and calling the Spacey functions. That's all for now. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe down below and visit us at pythonhumanities.com.